What's up my friends? Coach Kirk Shenta here. Um, in this video today, um, I'm so excited guys if you're watching this. Um, I'm going to talk about how to secure the bag, right? How to get the money, how to make money in your online business by ditching, by ditching, well I made up a word, by ditching self-limiting beliefs. And you know, this is part of manifesting um, and I really want to get into it. I'm not really going to talk about the fluffy stuff. I'm going to talk about a little bit about that. But I really want to get into the meat and the potatoes about what people need to know about self-limiting beliefs. Because this is like a big obstacle. Um, even myself, I find myself working through these issues. So uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how you can manifest big money in your business by ditching self-limiting beliefs. All right. So anyways, I already said that um, self-limiting beliefs are a major, major, major reason why business owners, why we don't manifest money in our businesses, okay? So I'm gonna give you my best tips on how you can manifest money in your online business or whatever type of business you have or in your personal life as well, okay? So let's get into what manifesting actually is. You know, really all manifesting is, is it's a vibe. It's a vibe, okay? So you need to be vibing so hard. You need to be putting out an energy that's so strong about what it is that you want. And when you put that vibe out there, not only will other people like a magnet be attracted to that vibe, right? We talk about sales in your business. Not only will people be attracted to that vibe, but on top of that, you are vibing so hard. You're putting out such an energy regarding your business and what you want that the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, has no option but to deliver to you what you want right so so really manifesting it, it's a vibe okay so another part of manifesting is being very clear okay so it takes a little bit of a process of being clear clarity right that's why it's so important to to have a journal if you don't have a journal just give you a manifesting tip have you a daily journal right so you need to be clear about what you want okay so first you need to be clear about what you want what do you want in your business what do you want in your life? What do you want in your relationships? You need to write these things down. Be clear about what you want. And then you need to believe so deeply that it already belongs to you. Okay. So for example, you know, um, you are clear that you want to uh, be debt free, right? That's a, something that you want your business to help you do is be debt free. You're clear about that. You wrote that down. I'm clear. I want to be debt free. Okay. Now, in your heart of heart, you believe that you're already debt free. Now I'm going to get debt free. I'm debt free, right? You claim it. You claim it. You believe it belongs to you already. It's your birthright, right? So get clear about what you want. Believe so deeply that already belongs to you. And then again, the universe has no choice but to put it in your life. All right. Now here's how to get started um, manifesting what you want. Okay. First, you got to understand how the universe works. And this is going to blow your mind. You know, I read a lot of books on manifesting. I love Lisa Nichols, Rachel Hollis, stuff like that. Right. So, you know, and, and maybe some of you have watched the secret comment below. If you watch the secret, right. Comment below if you watch the secret. Okay. So you have to understand the way the universe works. Okay. Here's how it works. Talking about a vibe, right? You, me tell the universe what we want in our words, okay, the words we speak out of our mouth, right? We tell the universe what we want in our thoughts, the things we think every day about ourselves, about other people, about other things, right? We tell the universe what we want about how we feel, about ourselves, about our business. We tell the universe what we want through our actions. So when our actions are not in alignment with what we say that we want, the universe says, okay, okay. So we have to make sure that our words, our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions are in alignment with what we say that we want. That is a process that is part of manifesting. A lot of people think that manifesting means, and I, I'm guilty of this, right? I thought this before, that manifesting meant I made a whole bunch of vision boards and I wrote down things that I said that I wanted. But the action, the, the thoughts, feelings, and actions part is a big piece that is left out of manifesting. So those things need to be in alignment with what it is that you say that you want. And you have to be conscious of what it is that you say to yourself, how you speak to yourself, how you think about your, your business and things like that, right? So for example, if you said to yourself, you know, I wanna earn 3K in my business this month, but it's so hard. 
Universe says to you, okay. And then guess what? It becomes hard. It becomes hard because you just not only verbally said that it's hard, you verbally said, I can't do this. You verbally said, you know, I want this, but you inserted a, but and the universe says, okay, but, and then you don't get what you want because your thoughts, okay. Your thoughts about how you feel about your business is putting a major roadblock from jump in the process of you making money. All right. So let's talk about how to rewrite self-limiting beliefs and manifest greatness. Okay. So the first thing is self-awareness. It's so important to be self-aware um, and to observe thoughts as they go through your head. And it doesn't mean that like you're going to just be sitting there all the time analyzing your thoughts. But part of being of, of having um, self-responsibility is being aware. All right. Aware of the thoughts that pass through our mind. Um, and just realizing that once you understand your thoughts, you understand that now you can take responsibility that you basically have manifested everything in your life to this point, right? A lot of people don't want to hear that good or bad. You've manifested it through your thoughts and your action. Every thought and every action has brought you to where you are now, has brought me to where I am now, right? So if in your business, you're not getting the results that you want, Think about the thoughts that are going through your mind about who you are, what you're capable of, what your business is capable of, your product, your service opportunity. Are they good thoughts, right? Do you have actions in alignment that you're consistently dedicated to that show that you um, believe that you can manifest these things? So every thought and action brings us to a certain place. If all of a sudden, you know, like in my, like in my mind, you know, if you have massive debt, if I have, I have debt, right? So that is a result of um, either a lack mentality about money, right? Or undisciplined thoughts about money, right? And undisciplined actions about money, right? Or to money, right? So every thought and every action um, has manifest things in our life and in our business to this point. And that's where we can take radical self-responsibility and observe our thoughts and think about the thoughts that have got us to this point. Second thing is to do a reality check about these thoughts and ask yourself if these thoughts are true. For example, um, the, the, the majority of thoughts that are in our head are shaped not even by us. They're shaped by our childhood experiences, things that our parents said, money don't grow on trees, right? Things like, like lack mentality that have been passed down to us, childhood experiences, um, our circle of peers, people that we're around. That's why it's so important to be around people who are always pushing you greater, right? Um, being a mastermind and things like that, right? Past experiences, right? When people say, I'm not good at business. And I'm like, what? Because that's your past experience that in the past, you could say in the past, I haven't been good in business, but you can learn to be better at business, right? So those are self-limiting thoughts, right? So is that true, right? So you have to do a reality check. So the first step is to be aware and take self-responsibility. Second thing is to do a reality check. Is it true? A lot of times it's not true. It's shaped by childhood experiences, your circle peers, your past experiences, either with your business, your skill sets, or lack thereof, your relationships, right? Um, you know, people influencing your ideas just because you have self-limiting beliefs don't mean those self-limiting beliefs are true. All right. Here's some more self-limiting beliefs, right? I don't know enough people, right? There's billions of people in the world. You can't meet other people, right? We, I can't meet other people, right? No one wants this product. Well, if other people with the product service opportunity are winning, is that an accurate self-limit, uh, so, uh, is that accurate belief or is that your self-limiting belief, right? Because if other people can do it, there's a roadmap. It can be done, right? If your other belief is no one wants this product, again, if someone else has done it, it can be done, right? Everyone is better than me. I'm not good in, good with technology. I hear that so much that I, I don't think people are aware when they say that. I'm not good with technology. I'm not good with social media. You can learn to be good with social media. You can learn to be good with technology. I don't have enough time. Again, another lack mentality, right? Because you might have to be more strategic with what you do with your time, but is that really accurate? Everyone has 24 hours in a day, right? So, you know, when you have to ask yourself, if someone else have it, has it, why can't you have it? Why can't Shen have it, 
right? Why can't I have it? These are things that I'm still asking myself, right? And then the next thing is, um, you know, like here's another self-limiting belief, um, believing that other people can't afford it because maybe you couldn't afford it. Or, you know, like even so, like I've seen this sometimes like with people um, who have higher end products because maybe they're still going through it. They believe other people can't afford it because you can't, right? So that's that's a self-limiting belief. You have to question the source of where it comes from, all right? So uh, do that awareness, ask yourself, is it true? And ask yourself where it's coming from, okay? Now, this is where you get into the part of you understand that now you can change it. You're self-aware, you, you've questioned the source of where that belief is coming from. Either it's resonating internally. Maybe somebody projected that belief upon you. Maybe it came from childhood experience. Maybe it came from past experience. Maybe it came from relationship, right? You know where that's, where that belief came from. Now you can change it. Okay. You, that's where you are able to embrace your power and realize that you have the power to change your thoughts and your thoughts can take you anywhere because your thoughts are the driver for your actions. The thoughts are my driving force for my actions when i believe that i am a leader when i believe that um, i can create high income days in my business my actions align because i believe that because my thoughts tell me that my actions fall in line so everything falls in line from your thoughts okay you can write a different story you could believe different things for your biz whatever negative self-limiting beliefs you have right now it's not your forever you can always change those thoughts okay like, for example, if your first month, you know, your check wasn't looking at hot in your business, okay, check your thoughts. Check how you feel about your business. Check how you, you know, are your actions in alignment and then vibe so hard with the universe that the next month your check is going to explode, right? So let me give you some homework, right? This is some um, manifesting homework. Okay, the first thing is, you know, I want you to tell the universe what you want, right? I want you to tell the universe what you want. Get a piece of paper and write down what you want. And I want you to be very specific. Is it a house? How many bedrooms does it have? What does it look like? Is it you want to be debt free? How much debt are we talking about? Is there an income goal that you want to, to reach? How much, right? Is there a um, rank in your business that you want to reach? What rank, right? I want you to write that down. And I also want you to write down a smaller goal. Okay, so once you write down your big goal and maybe a smaller one, right? And tell the universe what you want. Okay, so write it down. And I want you, you know, talking about your words, your thoughts, and your actions, every day I want you to speak as if you have it. I thank God for my, whatever you ask for. I thank God for my, my $10,000 check. I thank God for my four bedroom house. I think, or whatever universe, whatever you call them, right? <laughs> I thank God for whatever. You speak as if you already have it and you're thinking, being grateful for it, right? So make sure you check that, right? And I want you to, on a daily basis, you've already told the universe what you want. I want you to visualize it. I'm kind of going into the next one, but visualize it. Close your eyes and visualize what it would feel like having that. Like, right. So if you say you want to be debt free, what would it what what would it feel like? Right. Would might you have a little bit less anxiety at night? I want you to feel the weight going away from you as you become debt free. Right. As you have your four bedroom home, I want you to visualize your family coming over for your for your home warming. Right. Is that what it's called? Housewarming, home warming, whatever. Right. <laughs> so I want you to think visualize these things. OK. And. um you know, so those are the things that I want you to do. The next thing is that um, I want you to think or I want you to believe and have confidence that it can happen. OK, again, it can happen and you have to take confident daily action. OK, a lot of times myself, probably you who are watching, this is what trips people up. Self-limiting beliefs, right? What trips them up is people get so focused on the how the how is not your job. Remember. How we think, we feel, and the actions we take, the universe says, okay, right? That's the universe job is to respond, okay, and to deliver that, right? But a lot of times we focus so much on the how. I'll give you a really good example. When I first started my business um, a year ago, over a year ago, a little bit over a year now, my mentor told me that every day I had to do a YouTube video, I had to email my list. Those were non-negotiables, okay? Now, when I first started that, I was like, nobody's watching this, 
right? Because I was focused on the how. I was focused on the how. The how is up to the universe, right? That's what the universe delivers. We focus on the daily action, our thoughts and our beliefs, okay? So I had to check my belief. I had to check, like, I know that if I do these daily actions, the universe will deliver when the time is right, what it's supposed to deliver to me. I just have to, in faith, take action. And I have to get my mind right and be excited about the process of taking action. Because a lot of times our attitude is stank about the, the process of taking action. We're like, I want this money now in my business. And, uh, and the attitude is stank. Get your attitude right about taking action. Get excited. Get you a playlist about, um, I don't know, like put on some Cardi B as you take the action. Find a way to make what you're doing fun um, and, and have fun. And then that's where you'll be more inspired in your business because you're having fun in your business. You're vibing with your business um, and things like that. And then as you take the daily action, you know, all those limiting beliefs will start melting away because you, you're too busy working to be all up in your head right and then the universe has has no no reason but to deliver so what happened to me as back to my story i started doing these videos i started email mothers in my mind right amateur mind i was thinking i was freaking crazy i was like ain't nobody watching this ain't nobody listening to me this is crazy i got like four subscribers like nobody's you know i just really thought I, what i was doing was crazy and i was I was trying to force the universe to give me what I wanted right now. Not realizing that there's a time delay, right? The universe will give it to you when it's time, but you take the action and stay committed to that part. Well, over the next 30 some odd days, right? 60 days, just taking action, then boom, my business started to explode. But if I had given up, this is where most people will give up as online business owners in the manifesting believing process. Their self-limiting beliefs tells them it won't happen. It's not happening fast enough. They give up. They never even gave the universe the opportunity to give them what they had been manifesting, what they had been taking inspired action on, believing, working through that believing part, right? They never gave the universe time to deliver a okay on that positive inspired action. They gave up. The universe said, okay. <laughs> So these are the things that you got to do, okay? So get clear. Um, so tell the universe what you want. Write it down. Um, you know, believe um, that it will happen, okay? Believe that it will happen, all right? See and feel yourself in that house with that check, whatever it is, right? This is where visualization comes into place. And have belief and confidence that it can and it will happen and take the daily action to support that. And remember, the how is up to the universe, Okay, the the how in your business in terms of like, let's say you wanted to make 10K, right? It might not show up the way that you thought it was going to show up, but you know that if you take daily action, it will show up, right? The next thing is to get clear on your self-limiting beliefs. That's gonna be an ongoing process. I encourage you to get a journal that looks like this and write down, you know, you could get it at the dollar store or something like that. Just write down self-limiting beliefs that you know you have about yourself and work on it daily. This is where personal development comes into mind or comes into play, you know, until you do that work of analyzing what your self-limiting beliefs are about your business, about yourself, about your capabilities, about your skill sets, about other people, about other people's relationship with their business, you're going to keep running into roadblocks. I'm going to keep running into roadblocks. I'm working on some of this shit, right? So until you do it, you're going to keep running into roadblocks. I'm going to keep running into roadblocks. So this is real. This is something every day should be taking 15 minutes. You should be working on mindset. You should be visualizing what you want. You should be re reiterating to the universe what you want. And you should be taking daily action on what it is you say you want. And then any of those self-limiting beliefs, you can change it. You can rewrite any self-limiting um, thoughts. And, um, and that's pretty much it. You're like, that's it. All right. So um, take inspired action. Be grateful when you do get it and receive it. You know, embrace that things won't happen on your time. You control the action. You control your vibe, your beliefs, your actions, your passion behind it, your faith, right? And that's the part where you work on every day through personal development. But just remember, this is my last wrap up. You project self-limiting beliefs on yourself every time you say, yeah, right, it's not happening. I can't, I'm not like, it's too hard. I can't, I'm not like, 
right? Just remember that when you catch yourself with those beliefs, I want you to insert an affirmation to replace that um, self-limiting belief. And I want you to acknowledge, is it true? Where did it come from? And I want you just to stay committed to the work. That's it. Let the universe do its job. You do your job and you work on this. Bye, guys.